Hello and welcome to another one in our series of T&M gardening videos helping you to get the very best from your garden. I know that planning and planting up a garden can be a little bit daunting but actually it's not that difficult and I'd like to show you today that anyone can grow some tasty homegrown veg. Now growing vegetables in a raised bed has many advantages. Not only do they look great even if your garden soil isn't perfect, it allows you to still be able to grow tasty veg. They take up very little space and you can even construct them on the patio. The soil in raised beds actually warms up a lot quicker, so it means you can get a head start with those crops in the spring. Now these raised beds were constructed using railway sleepers and then lined with a permeable membrane. When building raised beds, always remember to keep in mind that you need to make the center of the bed within arm's reach. This makes it easier for when it comes to tending your crops or for when the best bit comes when it's ready for harvest. If you're gonna install paths, then you need to leave at least 45 centimeters so you can get the wheelbarrow through. Now these raised beds have been filled with a mix of topsoil, well-rotted manure and garden soil. Now that they've had two weeks to settle, they're actually ready for planting. So before that, I've actually mixed in some Incredi crop, which will help fertilise the crops throughout the season. But the first exciting job I'm going to get cracking with is I've got some young tomato plants to plant out. Now I'm actually going to plant six plants in this bed so that they've got plenty of space to grow out. I've got this variety of Gardener's Delight and then I'm also going to plant another one of my favourites, which is Tomato Sun Gold. Now tomato sun gold is an exceptionally sweet variety with bright orange fruits. On the other side of the bed I'm going to direct sow some peas and beans which need to be in rows of 30 centimetres apart. Direct sowing means that it's had no need to be sown in seed trays and it can be sown direct into the soil. Firstly create a drill of about five centimetres deep and then once the seed's sown simply backfill the soil. The great thing about growing peas and beans is that they actually fix the nitrogen within the soil so this will be perfect for growing brassicas in next year. Now the only thing about growing peas and beans is actually you need to give them some support. Now I do this using bamboo canes. Put these simply next to the drill that you've just sown and then get them to meet in the middle. Repeat this at the opposite side and then all you need to do is feed a bamboo cane through the top and then tie in with cable ties. This will then give some support for the plants to grow up. Now on the subject of bamboo canes, you also need to give the tomatoes some support. Pop a bamboo cane next to the tomato plant throughout the growing season. Simply tie it in to support it to the bamboo cane. Now, raised beds aren't just for growing vegetables. You can also grow some tasty fruit in them too. I've got here with me strawberry just add cream. Now, this is from Thompson & Morgan's own breeding programme. I'm going to plant 12 plants in this bed. The only thing to mention about strawberries is that every three years, the plants start to lose their oomph. So all you need to do is when that happens, just simply dig them up and replace the plants. Now, of course, you don't just have to grow edible crops in a raised bed. You can also grow cut flowers in them. Now, that's one of my favourite things to do. What's better than being able to come out in the garden and pick a bunch of fresh cut flowers? But maybe that's a project for next time. Stay tuned for another gardening video coming very soon. But for now, it's time to get some watering done and get them bamboo canes in their final positions.